Well, uh, everyone, thank you. Despite the challenges of, of weather that have struck uh, all of us over the past uh, day or so, and just the busyness of the start of the year as we head into Labor Day, uh, I'm just incredibly grateful for you taking the time to be with us today. Um, Carol and I are very excited to share this program with you. Uh, and we're very grateful to have two folks from BC's Crossroads program uh, on the call today with Megan and James uh, here to share their expertise as well. Um, but, but if we could uh, just begin with, uh, as we do all things uh, with prayer, and if I could have a, a let's see, a volunteer to, uh, to read our reading from the fundamental principles, that would be wonderful. All right, Mac, thank you so much. So sisters and brothers of ours, the Varian family, we, uh, we pray as we live in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You are called to a life of constant searching. Let the developments and changes of your life be a source both of confidence and challenge to you. For as our founder wrote, the Holy Spirit does not let himself be bound by rules and models, but works where and as he wills. Gracious God, send your spirit to be with us as we gather to reflect on and deepen our call as partners in mission and Zarian education. Strengthen our faith, hope, and love through interaction with each other. Help us to find the promise and fulfillment and the challenge of being stewards of these communities of faith. May we continue to work for the common good of all in our Zarian Brothers Sponsor School communities. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our brother. Amen. Amen. So we'll, uh, we're going to divide this uh, meeting kind of into a, a few different pieces. I wanted just to provide some, some context here of how this fits into our, our work uh, within the sponsorship office and uh, just, you know, kind of how things came about. And then I'll turn it over to Carolyn, who is the expert uh, of the Crossroads program and kind of share much more of the nuts and bolts uh, of this course here um, and about registration and timing and all those fun things. Um, but particularly, you know, as you know, as part of our strategic plan in the sponsorship office, when the, that office was restructured with Patrick and myself and, and brother Richard um, a number of years ago, it was really to find more creative opportunities to engage our network, to provide formation on all different levels. That'd be in-person programming, but also an eye for um, uh, web-based program, web, web, web and virtual based program long before the pandemic. So uh, for those of you who've been around working with us, uh, perhaps on the Partners in Mission document, we were using Zoom long before uh, the pandemic forces us to be, all be experts on that. Um, and I think that this uh, opportunity really provides a unique way for our schools and the busyness of that day um, and the busyness of that work to provide some uh, formation in, in a very unique way. So uh, this course is, is designed really in an asynchronous fashion and it is intended really to be something that could be useful for the new educators in your building, um, but also could be the, for those veteran staff as well who perhaps want a refresher or hey, who have been around and perhaps the school wasn't as Zavarian as it was when they started working there and they don't recognize the school around them. I know we have conversations about those folks all the time, um, but this course is really designed to be a light lift a reintroduction uh, for many uh, in, our, in our network to the history, the cares and the spirituality of the brothers. And it's really been a tremendous asset. We really leveraged a lot of the resources, many of the individuals on this call to, uh, to offer some of the recordings and reflections around this and, and really bring some work into um, a formation in a, in a new way. I think this is really, you know, having the privilege of, of seeing how each of our schools handles formation you know, that those resources differ very well for some schools like Zarian Brothers High School has a person like Carolyn uh, in her role to help lead this effort. Um, other schools don't always have that privilege. And even if they do have that privilege, their programming will not fit every need of every person. So I think this is a great option uh, for those. Again, it's, it's asynchronous in nature. It's virtual for us to connect as a network in a, in a different way. Um, really through partnership with, with BC and the excellent programming that they provide and the structures and uh, tools they provide uh, moving forward. So I really hope that you consider this, whether this again, be for helping your new educators in years one, two, or three, 
uh, or for some veteran folks, um, we wanna make sure that we really uh, utilize this program effectively. This won't replace our new teacher programming. We'll still be having uh, offering that, but this is really, again, meant to be a supplementary uh, material for, for your folks. Um, and please work with us and we can help you brainstorm uh, if this is the right fit for, for your school and your community and who might be the best uh, to, uh, to participate in that. So with that, I'll, I'll hand it over to Carolyn. Great. Well, again, thank you for all for everyone being here today. It's great to see all of you. And as Ben said, we're really excited to share this new formation opportunity with you. I've been um, the director of staff formation at Zavarian Brothers High School in Westwood for four years, but I've been a crossroads facilitator for BC Crossroads for many more years than that. So when the opportunity and the inspiration arose to sort of combine those two aspects of my work, the Crossroads program and formation work, this is just was a really exciting opportunity. So um, without further ado, I will share with you a lovely video that um, Megan and James put together from BC Crossroads that really explains what a Crossroads course is. So Ben, I think you have that for us. What is an STM Online Crossroads course? It's a chance to study your faith and deepen your spirituality. It's a chance to learn from leading scholars as part of a global community and to do it on a schedule that works for you. With topics that span the four pillars of the Catechism and beyond, Choose from over 30 different options a year from a catalog of over 50 different courses. Sessions typically run from four to six weeks and are reasonably priced. For many of our courses, you'll need to get yourself a text. The required book may cost $15 or less. Sessions begin on Wednesday mornings and you'll receive an email letting you know when you can sign in. After that, you can enjoy all the content available on the course site, including lecture videos, recordings, readings, and other resources for your independent study. Most importantly, you will be able to jump into the conversation about your learning in our facilitated forums. Active participation in the course means making three or more substantive posts, responding to course questions, or your fellow course participants each week of the course. If you want a certificate to show your extended learning for ministry, volunteering, or to commemorate your own achievement, finish 30 weeks of coursework to complete one of six certificate options. For more information or to sign up for a course today, please visit bc.edu crossroads. Great. Uh, so now you have a, a little of an introduction to what Boston College Crossroads is. Now I will share with you some of the nuts and bolts of what our Zavarian specific Crossroads course looks like. So the course itself is entitled Mission and Spirituality, a Zavarian Journey. And as Ben said, it's six weeks, it's online, it's asynchronous, and it really explores the pillars of Zavarian history, mission and spirituality. Again, it's designed for folks within our network. So new and veteran faculty and staff, but it could also include Zavarian brothers, Zavarian associates. You may extend the invitation to alumni, parents, board of directors, um, board of trustees. Uh, the opportunities to include those within our network uh, are substantial. So these are the topics that are gonna be covered in each of the six weeks. So first is an introduction week, which is really getting to know the others in the program and getting comfortable with using Canvas as an online tool for conversation. And the first week of substantial content is on Riken, Riken's history and legacy. Week two is the fundamental principles. 
Week three looks at the Zaverian charism. Week four, we hear about the Zaverian spiritual values. And week five, we look more at depth at the calls of Zaverian mission and spirituality. So within each of those weeks, there's going to be an introduction. There'll be readings on each of the various topics. And the readings come from the fundamental principles or the partners and mission document. Each week, there'll be a video clip, one from a Zaverian brother paired with a lay partner in mission. So we have Pro V on the call and we have Kevin McCormick on the call, uh, Patrick Slattery and others have contributed to those videos. So each of those weeks will uh, pair a brother with a lay partner. Each week, there'll be an opportunity to pray in the Zaverian tradition. Uh, and we'll be drawing on prayers from the XPSS Book of Prayers. And finally, they, there will be weekly reflection questions and asynchronous discussion. And those in formation work know that adult faith formation really happens in the context of conversation. So those reflection questions and that conversation really gets to the heart of the ways in which this program is about formation. So that's a really an exciting opportunity for those across our network to really get to know one another and to deepen our understanding of mission and spirituality. So the course is gonna be offered twice this year and I'm going to be facilitating both of those sessions. And I believe Ben will also be doing the courses as well. And he'll be eventually doing some of the facilitating. Uh, this year, October 20th is our first session and January 5th is the second session. The cost is $60 a person and uh, BC is willing to be a bit flexible with how the payment is handled, whether that's uh, a school invoice or if that's gonna be uh, handled through individual reimbursement. And finally, there is a private sign-up link to register. So in the video, you saw the crossroads uh, scroll down of all the different courses. Uh, that will be for public offerings. Since this is a private course to our network, the link to sign up will be sent out uh, from Ben. So be on the lookout for that to register. And I think that gives us a bit of an overview for now, at least enough for a conversation. So I, I welcome your questions and your comments. We also have Megan DeDeos from BC and James Burriston from BC on this call. So uh, hopefully we can get all your questions answered and uh, look forward to hearing what you have to say. Carolyn. Yes. Earlier in the presentation, it said we had we could choose 30 courses per year. For the, the sessions this year, the October 20th and the January 5th, those are specific sessions, right? Right, so those are the specific dates this course is being offered through the year. And the course is the Zavarian Overview? Yes, so the, the title of the course is Mission and Spirituality, a Thank Zavarian you. Journey. Thank so, you. Actually, let me clarify. If you go to the Boston College Crossroads website, there is a Zavarian spirituality course that's three weeks in length. That is a public offering. Got it. So you should be on the lookout for the link from Ben for the six week Zavarian specific course that's Mission and Spirituality, a Zavarian Journey. Got it. Thank you. Okay. I like to add too that um, while we've rolled out and introduced partners in mission, this is the first real program that intentionally unpacks and use that as a formational tool broadly for our network. So I think if, as, if you have members of your community who you would like to be leaders in this area, um, or if your school hasn't had the opportunity yet to really spend some time with that partners in mission document, this is a really a great way to bring people on board with that common language. And I think the unique uh, piece of that is is having Zaverian brothers reflect on that language as well, which we, as we know, we don't always have the privilege of um, for our school communities. They they might meet brothers during their new teacher uh, retreat and orientation, and certainly chief admin, you have experience working with them. Many of our faculties don't have that privilege, so I do think that that's something that's really 
unique to this, particularly as our, we continue to roll out and do formational work with partners in mission. Other questions? I don't have any questions, but I, I want to just praise Carolyn and Ben for their hard work on the course and for all those that were involved in creating the videos. I mean, Carolyn wrote a great course. It's very comprehensive, very well organized. And one of the things that she didn't touch on in her presentation is there's a section in each of the weeks called um, Spotlight on Severian Terms. And so it like pulls out kind of these important um, terms or, or names that would come up in, in Zavarian the Zavarian world. And so um, she did a great job and, and Ben was so helpful with the videos and the content. And I think she put together a, a great course. And so we're looking, we're looking forward to offering it. So as we roll this out, what would be helpful for you all in your roles? We have a good diversity here on the call of, of those in administration and those in formation and those of interest. What, what kind of resources would be helpful for you in either advertising this course or, or even just general reactions? Is, is this a helpful way of proceeding moving forward so we can plan accordingly? I'm sorry, I had to step away for a minute. So I, I do have a question I may have missed, so I do apologize. If, um, when we welcome the new faculty and staff to Severian on a, on a yearly basis, is this a potential avenue that, um, augments that or substitutes for that? Um, can this be something in which someone who didn't make, I, I know it's, it's at a cost, but maybe the school can cover it. Can this replace that if someone misses those workshops um, down the line as, as one of those potential ideas for extending those, those opportunities? Yeah, I think that's a great point. And I think that, you know, that's obviously gonna be an individual school decision because um, I think that being in person and for that programming is certainly uh, powerful and meeting people in the network in that way. But I do think that this is a great supplement for, again, every year there are those who can't attend those retreats for whatever reason, um, but also just kind of filling in some of those gaps or supplementing the work that's already been done so that perhaps at the individual school level, you could go deeper into your work or have a different focus and let this program kind of cover the basics, be the Zaverian 101 element of your formational work. Mm -hmm. Carol, could you share a little bit about how you're working with new teachers in this program? Sure, I was just gonna chime in with that. So yes, so at Zaverian Brothers in Westwood, I know our new teachers, they often go to the XBSS training in the summer. We do our own orientation week but then we do a formation program, a five-year formation program for our teachers. And we're actually gonna be placing this, not in the first year because it's really a heavy year just getting adjusted to the culture. Um, the second and third year, they're doing heavy um, evaluation work. So this is actually gonna be in our fourth year of our formation program when folks have adjusted to the culture, sort of gotten their feet wet here, and they've had some of the language and some of the experience, but we're going to um, put that into our fourth year, requiring it for our faculty and our staff at that point, just to, you know, make sure at that point they've had some of the language, they know the culture, and they can really enter into conversation at that point. Uh, and I know for this year, it being new, we're going to be opening it up to, you know, veterans and any staff members that are interested just to really um, grow this opportunity and grow the conversation. So it could come at any point, but that's how we're chosen, choosing to do it. And our, our hope is to offer, and Carolyn and folks from BC can speak more to this, but our hope is to offer this for our network each year, at least once. We do have a minimum of participation that we need to meet in order to offer the course, but if, if demand mm -hmm. is needed, we can cert to keep the size manageable and an appropriate formational level, we could offer this course at, at different times as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you're concerned at all about the, the load of the course, uh, let me mention that really quickly. 
a general crossroads course, I would say the weekly time commitment is about two to four hours. I think with the readings in this course, they're short. I think it would, we're really looking at about a two hour, around a two hour commitment per week. Uh, and, you know, it could be as deep as folks want to get into it, but to really get into the conversation, I think that's about the average amount of time. Yeah, I mean, I think it's exciting in uh, many ways. I love just the uh, idea of uh, sharing this opportunity with board members and as you said, associates as well. Um, I just think that that is a great opportunity to uh, really build what we're all uh, building as a network. So I'm excited about that. I feel as though my sense would be that the demand would be um, quite high because it's a great, like has been said, great like formational tool and how everybody is saying that. Um, one of the things that popped into my mind, and I don't know if I'm, you know, just really, this could be missing the mark, but just popped into my mind wondering about the three week course that's available now, the six week course. And of course, um, you know, knowing that it's to be used to for faculty and staff in, in adult learning, um, mm -hmm. is it at all, you think, uh, um, potentially effective for older high school students or is that really not something that um, has been thought about or is it just certainly just effective for um, you know the audience that we're talking about? I mean I think older high school students could do it. Um, I don't know I didn't really think of that possibility. I, I I think it would probably be best suited for alumni and yeah. you know after school in that age range, but yeah. there's nothing that would exclude. Okay. I think that could be possible. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Carolyn um, or someone from BC, could you speak a little bit about this certificate option and and for those looking perhaps for, for further professional development and accreditation in that regard, would that how this might fit into that offering? Turn that to so, Megan. Yeah, uh, James will chime in too, because he's our certificate expert. I usually just sign them. Um, so at the end of every course, the participants will get a certificate of completion. And so that just shows that they were actively engaged in the course. Every week they had three substantial posts. Um, and so they were engaged in the content and they completed it. But we also offer certificate programs, which is that's what Catherine was mentioning from, from the video, um, that if you take a certain number of weeks worth of content, you can be receive a certificate in that content area. Um, and so we can we can share our screen if you want to take more time looking at, at that. I want to be respectful of your time, though. Um, and so if you do have, you know, teachers or staff or administrators that are, are looking for that for that professional development opportunity. That's always an option. Um, and then I guess one step further than that, if you're looking for a specific program of study for your group of teachers, that's something we can work with you with, work with you on as well. And I know Mike Orlando from St. John's Prep, he couldn't join us this morning, but he um, is involved in one of the certificate programs. He's doing the adult faith formation one. And uh, he had was a participant in one of my other courses, and I know he's going to be joining us for some of his offerings this year of the sessions of the Zaverian course. Yeah, just kind of the quick rundown on those. They're all 30 weeks of courses, all of those certificates. Ones that this course could be applied to would be the certificate in spirituality, the one in catechesis, or the, uh, the one in adult faith. Or we also have like a general one that people can just pick 30 weeks of whatever courses they want to get that one, so. Brother Corny, welcome to the call. He's watching something. Hi, Brother Corny. Brother Corny has a wonderful video in the last week of the program. 
He does. And one more thing that if you possibly didn't catch it from the video is the weeks of our course are Wednesday to Thursday. And we do that. So the weekends in the middle, as opposed to being like maybe a cutoff. And so hopefully that's a helpful thing for, for your teachers. So uh, from our next steps, we'll, um, with the help of Josh and our communications office, we'll be sending out information uh, to you all and, and to um, everyone uh, within our schools. We have an email address for just advertising the program similar to this um, and letting them know the details and how to register and so forth. But uh, we encourage you, if you have any questions, if you have any interest in, in having a few faculty members, um, or you know any of those other groups of alumni and board members participate, please reach out to Carolyn or myself. Uh, we're happy to help organize that and be strategic with you about communication. Um, let us handle some of those things so you don't have to. The hope is to make the formation uh, easier for you um, and, and for your community. So please let us be a resource and please let us know your interest. Wonderful, well, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your time uh, and we'll be in touch soon.